Hey, good Tuesday morning. Thanks for waking up with us here on Upper Michigan today. Or maybe some of us have already actually been up for, well, eight hours now already. Uh, <laughs> I woke up about like 20 minutes ago. So. Lucky you, <laughs> lucky you. I would love to sleep in on a Tuesday, but that's okay. It's kind of a rainy morning that always calls for a sleepy kind of atmosphere for me anyway. I'm always, I feel like a little bit extra dragging my feet when there's rain outside. Yeah, I was actually surprised how cool it was. I was checking the forecast. I was like, wow, I'm like mid. 60s today because yesterday was scorching hot mm -hmm. so today it feels really nice actually I went to the <laughs> so. dentist yesterday got yeah. my teeth cleaned like a big girl I didn't cry <laughs> didn't well, hold anybody's hand <laughs> thank you thank you how are you doing today I'm doing good how about you doing my you know. teeth are cleaner than they were yesterday yeah. so I'm feeling pretty good probably have a nap in my future today though <laughs> I don't blame you no outdoor naps I've been a big fan of those lately napping on the beach napping at Hiawatha napping in the park but like I said going to be a little bit rainy in the central and eastern parts of the UP according to Jennifer Perez it was raining when I came into work this morning I haven't been outside yet though so let's check it out right now no it doesn't look active just just gray cloudy it's going to be cooler because of it over in Houghton a little less cloud coverage, but still looks jealous, like it's a gonna be honest. They're having a bit like nicer day than us. So <laughs> Yeah, I don't know that there's going to be as much rain or wetness in the atmosphere over in the I, okay, I always have to go like this, north, south, east, west, <laughs> over in the western parts of the Upper Peninsula. I can never just know off the top of my head, east and west. I'm you know, like, like, never eat seaweed I, or no, I, that, like I, It's actually never eat shredded wheat for me. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. I actually have to do that in my head every single time, just like I always have to go through the alphabet if I'm like, what comes next, A, B, C, D, F, G, D, D. Any whom, yeah. Not, not that bad out there, but going to be a little bit wet. It is prime blueberry picking oh, season yes. right now. This is something that I grew up doing in my childhood. We had blueberry bushes in our backyard. My mom would pay us a dollar for every styrofoam cup that we filled up. And blueberry picking season only lasts about six weeks or so here in the Upper Peninsula. It's in full swing right now, according to the owners of Snowy Acre Farm in Gwynn. And they're seeing an abundance of wild blueberries this season so get your baskets get your cups ask your mom to give you a dollar per cup that you fill up <laughs> and get some blueberries blue wild blueberries are just so much better than the farm grown ones and the store-bought ones and you know this is coming in just in time for the blueberry festival which takes over downtown Marquette this Friday Upper Michigan today will be live there like we always are kind of just making our way up the street stopping at different vendor spots hopefully getting a fresh fresh squeezed blueberry lemonade those are my favorite i love seeing all of the blueberry creations oh. at blueberry festival the the things that you wouldn't normally think pair with blueberry but oh. i personally love putting like fruit in savory dishes anyway i think it's a, an underrated addition kind of like the sweet with the savory mm. so absolutely for sure and i heard that swalty wait what was it no it was like swalty or something like that is the flavor combination of the summer, which is sweet and spicy. No, it would be spicy, not swalty. Spicy <laughs> is, the, is the flavor combination of the summer, apparently. Well, maybe you could go pick your blueberries and then try to create some sort of new concoction with it because there's a national snack competition going on currently and it's looking for entries from the Upper Peninsula. So the My Snack Combination, it's an annual contest. It aims to shine a light on some of Michigan's lesser known snack companies. And then the companies will face off in categories like confectionery creations, crunchy cravings, sweet sensations, and mindful munchies with $30,000 in cash prizes on the line. So the competition is on September 14th in Port Huron, and the deadline to enter the contest is August 12th. So if you're a baker, a chef, a cook of any sorts, an entrepreneur, you can create a snack. Yeah, I might have, to, uh, might have to bust out my cookbook, get a little, get a little creative. So Maybe a swicy blueberry snack, a swicy blueberry cluster. I'm thinking like blueberries, maybe some chilies and some chocolate in there too, because mm. spice and chocolate's a good combination. Okay, I'm always talking about side hustle. Maybe <laughs> entering a snack competition might be the way for me. Yeah. Maybe bring it to the newsroom and see what we all think before you submit it, right? Maybe. We, we, are, <laughs> you, you, we are pretty harsh critics, we so. Do, we do need <laughs> taste testers, which speaking of, 
I wonder if they need any because that just seems like a great job. But we actually do have some information about that on our website or michigansource.com. So if you are interested in submitting, you can check it out and, and do just that. So yesterday we found out that LeBron James is going to be carrying a torch for the Olympic opening ceremony. This morning we found out that Snoop Dogg is also going to be participating in the Olympics. He is making his Olympics debut. And um, let me just find my information here, ruffle through my papers real quick. Well, he will be the torchbearer, and he's an American favorite. will be carrying the Olympic flame to his final stop in the town of St. Denis before reaching the Eiffel Tower. Snoop Dogg is also slated to report on the games as part of NBC Universal's Olympic primetime coverage, surely bringing his own flavor to the mix. I <laughs> want to see Snoop Dogg do a news package. That's what like I'm saying. Like in classic news reporter fashion. Yeah, absolutely. I want to see him with the NBC mic, like with a with a photographer just reporting live from Paris. I think that would be awesome. Or, I wonder what his his sign out tag would be. Reporting live, I'm Snoop. I don't know. Or like what do you it. incorporate <laughs> something like I'm trying to think of like a Snoop lyric and I can't off the top of my head because I'm so I'm so bad at coming up with things on the spot. I know, pop culture references kind of can like, wait, what come and go, saying? I guess. <laughs> All I can think of is Snoop. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe he'll do that. He'll you know? just like drop the mic like it's hot. Yeah, exactly. He'll just drop it and then he'll just walk off camera and then they'll, they'll sign off. So. Um, well, <laughs> anyway, you've obviously heard about the tech outage that hits. So many devices, yeah. so many companies, <laughs> so many industries on Friday. Well, it seems like airlines, the airline industry may have been hit the hardest, and especially yeah. Delta specifically is kind of struggling to get back on their feet right now. So if you're traveling or at least you're planning to travel by airline in the coming days, you can expect a few more days of continued delays and possible cancellations. So. A statement from um, Delta CEO yesterday says the carrier's problem could continue into the week and this glitch kind of just involves the computers used to check in passengers and so they're working on it's like an airport by airport thing working on getting all those fixed so yeah no absolutely this is uh, kind of why I travel by car for most stuff because I feel like air travels are already very complicated <laughs> so I just <laughs> I'm just gonna travel by car it's simpler that way <laughs> I feel like as a Michigander I feel like car travel is just ingrained in us if it's oh, yeah. more if it's if it's fewer than 11 hours away it's just a quick ride oh it's yeah, just oh, nine yeah, hours you know, we'll it's just, just a day trip car. yeah it's just a day trip you know driving down state six seven hours you well, know? <laughs> well to me I feel like going through the the whole hassle of taking a flight is not worth it if the drive is less than eight hours because exactly. like to get to the airport early and to wait and to wait in line and then to spend the money on the things at the airport because you know i can't just like go there and sit there i have to go sit at the bar get a snack exactly do like and they have all the advertisements for stuff and it's like i don't need this but i, I want it like but i want looks it like a good in the airport <laughs> exactly. and it's just it's like a no man's land in here and anything goes and, and airport doesn't food exist. tastes really good like yeah. that's the thing is like when you're traveling you get hungry you get the munchies and sometimes you know like airport food just tastes really good but yeah so, so that's my rule of eight hours or more i'll consider consider a flight that's a good rule of thumb yeah but we have a, a packed show today kate and we have a few different artists of different varieties Absolutely. joining us a couple of them are participating in this weekend's art on the rocks so we'll be showing off their artwork we will be chatting with the organizer of art on the rocks everything you need to know about this 64th annual of event we'll wow, be talking cow. about the legacy of this event in the market area plus we have another concert in the corner we have musical duo the seth brown duo joining us for some live tunes later on in the program so stick around